Hi, Scott Orlin with Cinema Magazine. I am here with Jim Parsons. His new project is called The Boys in the Band. Jim, if I could start out using that as a metaphor, if this was a band, are you the lead guitar player or the conductor? What would your assignment be? Oh, I think I would be a lead singer who doesn't know how to play the other instruments, but he's very good at, 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 at prancing around the stage. And speaking of stage, I mean, you have the luxury of having performed this on Broadway and now brought it to a film with the entire same cast. That almost never happens. No. How advantageous was that during filming? Uh, more than I suspected it would be. I had never been on a set before where that specific deep level of experience. I mean, you always come into a project having done your homework. But there's only so much homework you can do. There's nothing like living in the skin of these characters and performing this story again and again with this same group of people like this. Um, it's uh, it, it makes it hard to go back to doing things the quote unquote normal way of just showing up and starting to film. Um, it was a it was a, a, a real gift. And, you know, it's funny because for a lot of people, there's going to be an element of the movie that's going to be enlightening, and that's the phone game. First and foremost, that's a rotary phone. They're not going to have a clue what that even is. <laughs> that's right. And the, and the, I've never heard of this game before, but neither. would you ever play it? Hell no. Hell no. You know, it's interesting. I don't, it took me a while to even understand it when I was going through. I was like, now, I mean, memorizing that was a bit of a challenge, I'll be honest with you. But... I don't even know who I'd call. I think partly it's because I grew up it, it just at a different time and I am my own person like that. But no, I mean, as Harold says, I'm not playing that. And he doesn't play that. And he's very wise. I love to your organization of your party because that uh, crab dip was very important to you as you tried to keep pushing it. So it, when you have a party, what are the important elements that you need for a successful party? Um, plenty of booze and and plenty of things to snack on and music playing. Um, beyond that, I honestly feel that it's everybody for themselves. And um, I used to be a better part of party thrower when I didn't care as much. We, I just used to open up the apartment, this is years ago, and just let people go. I didn't even think I supplied that much booze then. I was like, well, what'd you bring? Uh, but they were such good parties. I, I feel like parties get harder to throw the older I get and the more I care, which is kind of ironic. What, what I love too about this is we get to examine a, a group of people that some people, or a lot of people I should say, have stereotypes with. And what is wonderful about this is it shows so many different archetypes within that group. Yes. And we think, oh, there's the effeminate one or there's the this one. But here there's like eight different personalities. How important do you think that is for audiences who may have internal prejudices to kind of experience this and go, oh, wait a minute, this is not what I thought? I think it's crucial. And I think it's crucial not only as far as like dealing with people's perception of gay people, but I feel like in this day and age, a lot of people have gotten to know more and more about gay people and have more gay people in their lives that are open to them about it. And so in that way, I feel like this story is an excellent jumping off point about what other types of people do I not know enough about and are hurting because I, I don't know, accidentally am considering them second class citizens or, you know, uh, how, what pain are they going through and hurt do they feel from society? Um, I really love how this script has grown in that way into something you know it's a more inclusive story now than i think it was in the beginning it wasn't meant to be i don't think it was a very specific gay story and now it can't help but be in this day and age a story about many many more different types of oppressed people well jim parsons as always thank you so much for your time really appreciate it boys in the band and this is scott orland until next time see you thank you scott thanks